to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, here on my this channel, uh, I provide uh, technical analysis that includes the technical studies. Actually, includes not only Elliot Wave analysis but also traditional technical analysis plus uh, some of the WD GAN techniques as well. Uh, especially WD GAN techniques allow me uh, to confirm some of the Elliot Wave patterns as well. So in today's video, we are going to continue our analysis for gold and silver. Uh, I haven't done gold and silver uh, for about, but uh, I did mention that I was going to go and do it on weekend. I was a little more busy than expected, but today I have some time and we'll uh, try to shed some light on uh, where exactly gold and silver are expected to go. Uh, I'll try to discuss more, more of the uh, possibility, more of the charts that we have here. Here, for example, gold and euro, gold and British pound, and then we're definitely going to look at gold in USD. Uh, we'll try to look at some of the stocks as well, W Wheaton Precious Metals, and this is Metalla, and then we'll try to look at GDX as well, uh, see how things are going on. First of all, the pattern in front of us on a smaller time frame is, is right. We are looking at it as a correction, okay? So we can clearly see we have smaller wave 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and 5, and then we have a correction giving an indication that we definitely are going upward. Uh, keep in mind that still we are not going to use uh, this as a potential stop loss area. We want to put our stop loss right over here. We are expecting to price go up right over here. There is a possibility that price actually can come down and correct up to this range as well once again. Okay, Because there is a possibility that this is, uh, let's say that our uh, labeling in this area somewhere is wrong. We are not seeing some smaller correction which is exactly in there. So the, there's a potential for the prices to go up and come down over here. But this is definitely a correction. I'm seeing a bullish pattern followed by a correction. Prices are expected to go upward, complete this whole structure as over a 5F structure, come down and retest this area. The reason I'm saying uh, uh, this area is because we have an important resistance ahead of us. And I'm definitely going to go up and discuss larger time frames. So stay with me. So we have two major resistance on a smaller time frame. This is right now we are. Uh, I always tend to say that whenever we see a resistance and we see a, a correction pattern, which is uh, closer, stays closer to the resistance right over here. This is this is a solid sign. The prices are once complete over here, they are going to go up the next target area. So similarly, once this is an important resistance point. This is an important swing point for gold. So there is a possibility we'll see resistance and can prices can come down upward, uh, can come down all the way down. So it, they are going to form a correction, whether the prices will pass through it, this region, and form a correction, or whether they will actually find resistance and then find support in their lower area. So keep in mind, as far as Elliott Wave Analysis itself is concerned, the correction that actually, this one correction seems to be complete. This uh, pattern seems to be complete on the impulsive. So this is our impulsive pattern followed by a corrective pattern. And then we have started to go upward already. So this is a smaller time frame analysis. Uh, we are going to look at a larger time frame and see what's expected to see on a larger time frame. We'll go on daily time frame. And in my previous analysis, which I have shown you guys, I am expecting for the price of gold to go up right over here and create at least double. It can go a little beyond as well. There is not stopping over here. And the, the smaller time frame labeling, I mean the daily time frame labeling is in front of you. So I'm seeing a 5F structure followed by a correction. This is a zigzag correction and followed by another 5F structure. That makes it a zigzag pattern. So that means the previous pattern that we are seeing right over here is also zigzag. So this is 5F structure, 5F structure, uh, 3F structure followed by a 5F structure. We are calling it a W, and we are calling this as an X, and the, the structure when completes would be a Y. This pattern that we are seeing is part of a larger pattern we can see on a weekly time frame, and then we are expecting that we are going to see wave A, wave B, and wave C. I remember when prices were over here, I was really passionate about giving a negative call. That ended develop being as only a part of W. So gold has spent a lot of time just doing this data that move is still left and this is what a lot of people are going to get surprised in uh, this is gold on a weekly time frame 
I am waiting for the 5 wave pattern on the daily time frame to complete. That would actually complete a 535 pattern. And this pattern, this price is going to be dramatic. We are going to see this fall in a very small period of time. Maybe hardly uh, a year it can push to a year. But I'm expecting even less than a year. Uh, somewhere around 9 months. Uh, in between 9 to 10 months I'm expecting. Uh, for the price to fall all the way from gold for gold from the top to a bottom somewhere around 1142 so this is an important pattern this pattern i'm seeing in different currencies as well however on a different degree so it's not exactly that it's on a, on a same degree uh, for example i think i saw it in uh, british pound and in euro we look at it but at a different at a different degree okay at a different degree so we look at back once again what i just uh, said on uh so we are looking for a this is the wave one and this is a wave two definitely we are looking for more bullish on the upside creating a double top so i'm looking from this bottom i'm looking for a five structure we can label it as we start over here and wave one right over here and two over here and then once again all the way three four and five to the top creating a double top <coughs> I do believe that this correction is complete now we have a lot of time we don't have a lot of time to create the top I did give a date for uh, creating a top but I think we are going to uh, push that date a little further down so I think maybe six to eight weeks a top should be done a top should be done within six to eight weeks before the end of the year we'll start seeing um, gold prices to drop all right and then we'll uh, this is how I'm looking at gold let's have a look at the same pattern uh, at gold in different currencies so I'm let's have a look at in euro and then we'll look at it in British pound as well so the pattern as I said I'm looking for a, a B and a C pattern and this pattern is happening on a different degree as compared to a larger A, B and prices coming all the way down over the completing C. I'm expecting that we have completed a 5F structure till the top right over here. This is the top and this is an A, B and a C. So A, B and C pattern is expected to complete in um, Euro as well only that it is uh, happening at a different degree. Okay, And this price drop is expected to happen in Euro as well. There's uh, on a daily time frame that shows. Uh, let's have a look at the three time frame. So I wanted to show you a very important trend line, and which is this one right over here. So we can actually use the trend line right over here as a confirmation tool. This is a very, a very important support line. It's not only A, B, and C. I wanted to show you this uh, support line. This support line is very important. We are once again expecting for the price of gold to go up, create. Uh, at top somewhere around this area let me have a look and you can give it up 1926 that's our potential target and then we are expecting for the drop to sudden complete uh, a drop somewhere around 1130 ish area so this is an a b and c structure happening on a different time frame uh, happening on a different degree so this is wave one right over here wave two right over here this is our wave three a five wave structure wave one two three four and five prior wave 4 falling with the sharper wave uh, within the wave 4 of a previous 5 uh, wave structure and then we have extended the prices to go up that gives us an A, B and a C structure so it's happening at a different degree uh, I think British pound let's have a look at British pound as well the price of gold so here once again British pound is actually not this one British pound is showing that A, B, C structure as well on a same level as we are seeing in Euro as well. We have an A, B and C structure price is expected to drop in wave 2 right over here. Okay, and this because uh, if let's say we can call it a wave smaller wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then wave 5. Yeah, we can do that. But I'm calling this whole price movement as an impulsive movement and this is an A, B and C as a corrective movement at this degree. So this is all prices are not expected to come all the way down over here and uh, create a pattern in British pound and euro. So this ABC structure is happening only at a different level. 
and now let's have a look at um, at uh, at silver and then we'll look at some of the stocks as well so silver I am expecting silver to go up as gold is expected to go up this is a three day chart let's have a look at uh, let me actually simply okay so this trend line is important a lot of people are not understanding this trend line this trend line is very important we have already we have one uh, sorry one two three and four points on the trend line so this trend line is extremely crucial uh, for the confirmation of our analysis I mean, we are expecting as we can see the price the bounce has already happened we can clearly count a sub five wave structure all the way over here a correction and then we are expecting the price to go all the way over here prices can give can go all the way over beyond the previous top as well so we gotta keep that in mind for now I'm going on with this uh, a 5F structure correction and uh, which ended right over here I will label this as well just give me a moment and they are we expecting a 5F structure on the upside as well so right now I'm considering this as right over here this is the different you're not going to like the labeling so I'm considering this as W X and Y so a double three structure in which the first wave is uh, our, our zigzag followed by another zigzag followed by a flat correction all right so starting from this top we have a zigzag and then we have another zigzag as X and then we have a flat correction as the completion of W X Y double three wave structure and I'm expecting a five wave structure all the way over here uh, prices can penetrate that area and can actually also stay below so we have if prices actually can penetrate that area we'll have to relabel this di as a as an impulsive move completing a five wave structure on the top but uh, some of the studies that I've done on you uh, do using WD GAN analysis clearly indicate that we are into the uh, very last portion of the swing that's going over over here as soon as this swing is complete then we are bearish on silver so for now we can clearly see the prices has gone has found a support on the trend line and are bullish for uh, I would say six to eight weeks to come we can definitely see the same pattern on hourly time frame and see where exactly the labeling is coming from so we have here we have a clear 5 structure followed by a correction which is very close to the resistance right over here so you're finding a corrective pattern right close to the resistance and prices are expected to penetrate it and then we're expecting a 5 wave structure on the upside and this is only a smaller degree okay so we are expecting the maybe somewhere wave one over here and two wave they have two over here this is wave one and three four and five all the way to top this will be the our start of pattern and this is still going on wave one till actually somewhere around this ish area okay and three four and five will be on the top so I'm still bullish on gold and still bullish on silver uh, I'm not going to discuss silver in euro and British pound they're pretty straightforward I mean they're exactly the same pattern as you're seeing on US dollar as well so this completes our analysis of gold and silver bullish on gold and silver for next six to eight weeks and after that I believe that in six to eight weeks uh, we'll take start taking um, negative uh, we'll start looking at the bearish side of gold and silver gold is expected to drop within eight to ten months and uh, to create a major major low that low would be very important and um, some other analysis I'll try to present that includes cryptocurrency as well and stock market as well um, and I'm looking especially uh, at those uh, uh, both of those markets as well I'm trying to uh, do some analysis and then I'll try to present it let's have a look at Wheaton a lot of people are going to get trapped in Wheaton as well let's have a look on the daily time frame okay so this um, this top is an important top we have created a top beyond the okay this top is an important top right over here so we have created a top beyond the previous top and once again price is expected to go beyond so a lot of people are going to get 
um, by thinking that okay we are, have already created a top beyond the previous top and that will confirm it there still is a negative uh, false signal for gold bulls I'm expecting when price actually of gold to go uh, in of return to go up in uh, six to eight weeks maybe cross seventy dollars per seventy two dollars uh, and create somewhere around seventy five to eighty dollars and then I'm expecting a sudden drop in the price of uh, wheat and precious metal as well so I'm considering that this pattern is still going on maybe we'll have to look at uh, how we label the pattern but I'm expecting a major major reversal in the price of wheat and precious metals as well so for next once again six to eight weeks are expected to be bullish there is nothing saying that we have actually completed the top right over here so I'm still expecting for the price to go all the way over over here create a double top or maybe pass that area and then a sharper reversal are expected we can look at the daily time frame to make more sense of the data here we can see once again a clear 5F structure uh, completed by a correction and uh, which ended right over here and then we are expecting for the prices to go up right from over here so this is from this bottom I'm expecting for return precious metal to go up uh, completing a top within six to eight weeks and then uh, we are expected to see prices coming down as well Metalla is already down way down from the top okay Metalla is already down so we are completing right now this structure and I believe that in days to come we are going to complete this structure we can clearly see we have created a new low beyond which is beyond the previous low so that's indicating more weakness to come in Metalla we can label that certainly we can this is an A this as an A and this is an B and this is a three wave structure respectively. prices can actually push up and go in this region as well a sharper move that we actually seeing a reversal is expected to go up and six to eight weeks and then that will actually create uh, a, a move followed by a correction and the remaining move will come later so I'm expecting more bearish to come in in Metalla as well but first six to eight weeks would actually be needed to either the wave A is over here wave B and wave C so six to eight weeks of uh, more data is needed to complete the structure followed by more bearish move in Metalla so there's a lot more pain to come for gold and silver uh, investors let's see how things go but the next six weeks are going to be bullish wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye